Hello everybody. I'm outside today. I've been looking over the comments. I'll show you here. I'm outside. I've been looking over the comments. And boy, I was fitting to do something else that even got me started. <laughs> I could uh I could make videos just off the comments. This right here, I don't know if y'all have ever seen this. I, you know, I get new people all the time. But uh, this right here is something. I got a video of how to make this. Let me show it to you. Look at how thick that is. Now, I can't make them for putting my antennas up because uh, this right here costs too much, which it don't mean it's a lot, but it's a lot for like selling antennas and making them, you know. But if you was like just gonna make you one antenna for yourself, this right here is probably the uh, the best thing to use. Uh, you know that PVC, it'll be there, boy. There's a man that left two comments, and I think he might have deleted the best one. But he knew where I was coming from, talking about the people. And let me let me explain to you what I'm talking about. I had to talk to the man. It was one I, antenna I was going to put up for a friend of my wife's. I had done talk to the man, and uh, like a week later or something other, I called back, and his wife answered the phone. I was talking to her. She's the one that was talking to me like I was lying. And, you know, that that gets old. If you're saying, if it don't work, I give you money back. If it don't work, I give you money back. If it don't work, you ain't got to buy it. After I talked to her, I hung the phone up. There's the antenna right there. I forgot the phone number, how to get a hold to it. You see what I mean? And uh, everybody has got this this antenna business, they don't think right about it. I mean, they think like on the prettiest day is the best for antenna and it's the worst. Pretty day is the worst. When it's, when it's cloudy and raining, that's when it picks up the best. <laughs> that's when you like to pick up channel 250 miles away when it's like that. I've scanned mine before and got 50 channels, and we ain't got but uh, we ain't got about 21 channels that that you can get. I thought that thing had done got hooked up on the internet or something other, but uh, it was right. But I I had went and put up one for my buddy. I kind of told y'all about this, but I didn't. I didn't tell you everything about it. He had his antenna. He was 40 miles from the TV tower 40 miles and uh like you know when we put it up uh he was getting every channel and everything and it, it took me a little while to figure out that situation but like when on the bad days like raining and cloudy and all that see it pick up better and that's when it would act up. That's when that booster was overdoing. On the sunshiny days, when it wasn't pick, when it don't pick up quite as good, that's when it would pick up good. A lot of people don't don't know that. I, hey, uh, somebody called me at one time and I told them it picked up. Bit. They was asking me about you know about the rain. You know, I said, man, that's when it picks up the bit. And he thought. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Mate. He thought I hung up the phone or something. Or he said, "That's a line it's a B. <laughs> and boys, I'm about as straight as I come. My mama said, "Maybe you ain't got to exactly tell it like it is all the time." <laughs> but to fix that man's, uh, you know, my buddy's antenna. Hell, man. I took the booster off of it, and it was fixed. I, I talked to him all the time. He said, hell yeah, it's good. 
And I'm also kind of straightening up some, some, uh, some stuff from the last video. Uh, the man that I was talking about that put his own antenna, you know, on the way to town, I told you his antenna was being over like a pretzel, because he put it on a PVC pipe. I don't mean he put it on this kind of PVC pipe. His, his pole was a PVC pipe. His pole was a PVC pipe. That thing's being over. And he probably, he might get two or three channels. And he probably got a hundred and fifty dollars. Probably have two hundred dollars in it. And he could pay me three hundred and twenty dollars and get every channel. Because I had put an antenna up to the house right next door. I'm talking about fifty foot away. And that person got every channel. And, you know, I was talking about that man that, that uh, was asking me the question about he didn't see why he could pick up that one channel as uh, one station frontwards but couldn't pick it up backwards. That antenna right there, it, without that reflect on it, it picks up just as good frontwards as it does backwards. The only, the only thing about that is you just need to be a little closer to the TV station. And uh, let me tell you this right here. It, uh, here. Let's just say this right here is the TV antenna signal right here. And uh, if you got a good meter, you stand there and watch. You stand there and watch it. That channel, that the signal will go up and down. Okay, when it, when it comes to its lowest peak, if it goes below this line, so, sort of, say to speak, if it goes below this line, it'll mess up. And what that booster does is it picks up the signal uh, to keep it from riding so close to the line. That's what that booster, uh, that's what it does. The 400,000 kilowatts in, in uh, Macon, uh, most people can get that 41 uh, in Dublin, but the problem is, is it runs like this right here, and man, there ain't nothing no worse than me watching a movie, and your antenna uh, dips down at just whenever they fit to have the show down. But that's why I don't even give nobody a choice. If they get an antenna from me, they get in a booster because I ain't gonna be aggravated with. Them calling me up, telling me, yeah, I need that booster. And I didn't have that to happen. They want to try to save that booster money. And they always call you back wanting that booster. So, and you know, like I was talking about, the man had called me up wanting that antenna, and I talked to the woman, and uh, she got me aggravated. And that's the same reason that, that when I was in the roofing business, I wouldn't go roof no church. The board is over. You know, the board is over that. And there's always somebody on that board that wants their roofing company to come. They don't want you there. They want their roofing company to come. And the man that don't want you there, he'll come out there and he'll try to find something wrong. I just... I quit doing it. I didn't have to do it anyhow. When I was 20 and I started in that roofing business, I was working all over the state of Georgia. And when it wound up, I wasn't going no further than five or six miles. We got a bunch of little communities outside of Dublin. And I didn't even go to them. But if, if, if you got all the work you can do, why you want to go 30 miles? Don't forget, I'm going to show you how to make YouTube video without a camera. If you got any questions, leave it on the comments for me, and I'll answer them. And uh, don't assume you already a subscriber to me because this is a different channel. So like and subscribe and help support me. We'll see y'all on the next one. Into your wires. 
and put your transformer on every now and then. All right? And see, just do your other side the same way. Let that cool. Earlier days, if you make your antenna like this, see, I can't stop and tell you every little thing that's critical. You just need to make it like this right here. I've done all kind of stuff. Boys, I know what works and I know what don't work. I sold it. I, this thing's been tested at 100 miles. <laughs> this right here's a bad boy, y'all. And let me tell you, if this antenna wrong, if this antenna right here don't do it for you, you better go and call the cable man. <laughs> because you ain't gonna get one that's gonna outdo this right here. Alright, thanks everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe.